Hey, what's up? Welcome back. This is the second part. I think I managed to um, find the problem with the lighting and was the lighting in the back, of course. Dumb, dumb, figured it out. Uh, this is part two. Like I said, a quick bonus. Um, it's a death metal portion. It's a lot of maggots dumb. If you're not interested in that kind of stuff, I'm sorry. You can just listen to what's playing or blood with Shadow Mancer of the Haunted Moles um, on Medieval Prophecy Records. Great tape. I just re-dug it up looking at my recent pur purchases. There you go. Been played a few times and it's a good tape. I talked about this in a two updates ago, I guess. My Walkman it died. I had a um, Sony. This has been with me since I was 18. It died like yesterday. For real. So. Now I have to find a new one. If you have one, please. Um, I'm going to not talk about these three. These were in here, but I talked about them in the Maggot Stomp Unearthing Darkness, so they're gone. Um, yeah, let's start off with a banger, I guess. Um, I got these in the trades and coffinized and disembowel the Echoes of Terror. And then this is Chambers of Deprivation. I spoke about the record that came in, the vinyl version of this one. Um, yeah, it was a great trade. I was looking for the disembowel and he had this one also, so I managed to, or he managed to include it for me. And coffinized by now, it's not officially communicated, but I, since their presence on the web has been diminished to zero, um, I think they are done, which is a shame. Look at that picture. There you go. Yeah, love this artwork. It was a great release. Um, yeah, just filthy dead. The, the new kind death metal caveman. This may, may be the epitome of caveman, um, if you want to call it that style, that new style. Um, I think this was the one of the MVPs on the label, but still is. But you know, they were working on a full. Kind of sucks. That that won't happen. But you know, shit happens. Then this embowled with Chambers of Echo, more of a old style of death metal. Filthy, disgusting, but more of the old school sound, I guess. Putrefied remains, immolation, sadistic pleasure, shoved beyond recognition and disemboweled. Nice clear tape. I think the first pressings of the tapes are always on clear, I'm not sure. That means the Uncoffinized is a repress. Love the artwork, it came out on vinyl, but I decided to stick with the tapes because otherwise I'm buying everything. Double or triple, maybe. Cool dudes from there. Yeah, it is just classic and all, all the things, the collage is even there. So, yeah, perfect. Lighting is better. Uh, thank you list Blue Life's Splatter, it says. Against the police. Um, yeah, really good tape. Um, I have to listen to it a few times more because it's been on the back burner. But, um, Great shit. 2020, California. Then, um, another trade I did, I had this McFarlane toy from Hellraiser and I traded the guy from Grindfather Productions uh, for these two, two tapes for one toy, torture toy that no one wants or looks at. Great shit. Uh, the first one is a fluids tape from Band Fluids. Fluids of Death, Experience the Graphic Reality of Death, Close Up. Inspired by the Faces of Death layouts and video series, of course. Black and red, which is a cool thing. It's fluids, it's the uh, mortician worship, gore, dead metal that, um, that we came to love from the two full lengths they did. This is, um, yeah, they, are, they have a lot of releases all of a sudden. This is a combination tape or a compilation tape. Uh, from all those splits and singles they did. So, yeah, cool. Cool to have them all in one place, just like the Spectral Voice demo, not the Sepulchral Voice. Managed to fuck that up. And then I got the Internal Rot um, tape live at Menegrot, New York. Don't know if that's still 
survive, or that survived uh, the COVID. Um, 25, 2011, Grindcore Fundamentalists. There you go. Band from Australia that is also members of. It's the band from Mesaka and Iron Lung, but I'm blanking on them right now. Blanking. This is internal rot, like I said, grinds, very, very grinds, uh, even more grind in 2011, I imagine. The hack sessions, head on a stick, head collector, tender, purple rain, you know, little prince cover maybe, there you go. But yeah, I was mainly after the fluid one, mainly after getting rid of the toys, but yeah, there you go. Nice trades, some new stuff, and didn't spend anything. Then, a tape I showed before, but I'm not 100% sure I talked about this drain with California Cursed. This was in the order I did with Frank, the neighbor, who is coming tonight to do a listening party. This is out on Revelation Records. Um, very young guys. I think this was 2000... No, it's 2020. Um, they are from San Diego, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, California Cursed. A hardcore record that is very influenced... Uh, by trash but it's it doesn't burst through like with some it's not like power trip it's still more yeah more positive hardcore ish I'm not sure uh, they haven't played too many shows but there's one show uh, live at some fest in a skate park that is worth checking out the singer looks like the most happy person alive I think you know who the singer is there you go so yeah cool looking tape right, cool looking tape cool sounding tape also very yeah, very groovy sounds to this, but yeah, Drain, one of the newer hardcore bands. Four more, um, let's just go in order. This is Morbid Angel with Abominations of Desolation, their demo from 87, if I'm not mistaken. This was the original, original lineup with the, yeah, the first drummer and everything that went on to, what's that, space metal, space death metal, blanking on it. Blanking a lot. I'm tired as fuck. Of course. This is the re-release from I don't. I'm not sure what year. Maybe last year. These. This is part of that bootleg series that pops up. Mayhem is in there. There is battery is in there with the four tapes, both soon stuff like that. But yeah. It's the year '86 they came together, but I think this is uh, first released in '87, if I'm not mistaken. So a lot of text there. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is a re-release from their demo. Ship Nico Hubs of the Goat with a Thousand Young. It's Mike Browning on drums and vocals. Trey Alex Holt, lead guitar. Richard Brunel, Sterling von Scarborough. Uh, David Vincent and Morbid Angel. You know where that went, but yeah. Cool to finally have. This is Heaven numbered to uh, 200 and I have 39. It says there. There you go. Uh, yeah, cool to finally have. There are a number of releases. Um, there's vinyl releases, there's bootlegs of this, <clears throat> there's CD versions of this, but I thought this was a cool re representation of that demo. The first one was white, I think. Then three more tapes from Maggot Stomp to round it out, and I think then it will be Schluss and the command is coming in, and you know, it's not done yet. This is Anatomized by Inoculation, a band that is working towards a full length or did they do a full length no they did an ep so they should come out with a uh, full length one of the ways this is the a more technical death metal band on the label <clears throat> uh not too technical but it is yeah i don't know not as caveman -y, not as draggy there are some tempo changes in here uh this is also from it says 2019. Oh yeah, so this was the first EP. Nocturnal Levitation Anatomize. Uh, very simple card. Is this Shogun or Shogun Kinetics? Shotgun Kinetics? Not sure. Um, yeah, good one. It's a little bit rawer, if you will, than the um, the next the follow-ups, but it's still very cool. Um, I have two more visceral mass with it's a visceral mass, I guess. Yeah, they're self-titled EP. Uh, these were guys that were in and coffinized. Um, I'm saying that 
handbags. Not going to delve too much into it, but yeah, they were in cough masks, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, that's whole mess. I think this is sold out by now, I'm not sure. You can maybe still find copies. Um, yeah, it kind of imploded, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if this band also imploded or they are still going. It's a two-piece. I think this one definitely was the drummer for um, the other band. There you go, four tracks. Uh, yeah, I. Humans 2 was the single they pushed, Flesh Eating Diseased, Verses of Perversion and Drowning in Rot. It's just, this is also very caveman. Um, but yeah. Skin Bludgeoner and Skull Basher are the two guys. I love that they had that tombstone with Scott on there. Scott is the uh, owner and label boss of Maggot Stomp, so that was a nice picture. You don't think so, I guess. And the last one is, I have to look, denun Denunciation with California Commando. So, California Cursed and California Commando. The only thing I know about this is it's a four piece and it is a, it's actually kind of a fool because it has one, two, three, four, six tracks um, with a kind of a concept album, if you will, about uh, falling down that very, very good movie from the 90s. Uh, I haven't listened to it too much. I've listened to it digital, but it didn't hit the tape deck. This release is a tribute to the movie Falling Down. These are the folks in the band. Dead Vipers, the whole nine yards. The inside has the maggot stomp, death metal, the California flag, which is cool, I think. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I haven't listened to this too much. That's it. Um, what's up next is the Timo Katoa video, which will be done, I think, next weekend. Don't expect too much, I'm just looking for it. Um, yeah, it will be cool. Um, there is not a table later. There's a new collection coming, maybe an Unearthing, Unearthing Darkness live. And um, when a new bonus comes in, I will do the uh, discography bonus. I've been putting it off way too long. So that will be a longer one or two parter. Um, that's it. Uh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you. Uh, yeah, I think next week. Bye.